So I want to show you very quickly what happens to coffee as it's roasted. This is green coffee. Coffee's the seed from the fruit of a flowering tree and it's dried, it's processed and dried out of its skin and it becomes this very dense green bean. It's not really a bean, it's a seed, but we'll call it a bean because everyone does. As you start to roast the coffee, it goes from that to a slightly pale white color. What's on the outside here is chaff. That's also called silver skin and it comes off during roasting. In the next stage, so it's turning pale at about uh, two to three minutes into roasting. Some roasters a little bit faster in an air roaster. Now we have a kind of tan or orange stage where it's definitely losing some heat, uh, losing some moisture content. The coffee's becoming a little bit lighter, moves around a little quicker in the roaster. And this is the tan stage. This is very slow, this early development from the green to the tan. Uh, you know, in some roasters that could be 10 minutes of development until you hit the first crack. So, still quite a light colored coffee, not what you'd want to drink. It would taste very grainy if you drank it. Now here we're approaching first crack, which could, like I said, happen anywhere from in a real fast roaster, um, several minutes, in a drum roaster, maybe as long as 10 or 12 minutes. And you see this very highly varied surface texture and this pale silver skin chaff in there. Now here's where we've actually gotten to coffee that could be consumed. This You could drink this coffee. This coffee has gone through first crack, so there's been this audible popping sound in the roaster. And that's kind of your, your clue. Once that finishes, the popping, that coffee has gone through first crack. We call this city roast. It's a lighter roast. And looking under the, under the strong light, you see all that dark surface texture in it. But this, this could be a very good roast for uh, coffee that you want to be bright, lively cup. This is just a little bit more roast. But you notice that, like this bean, is puffed up a little bit more. It's opened up that crease. It's not quite so flat on this side, and the, the, the silver skin's a little darker. So that's a City Plus roast. We'd call this one City Plus too. Now these, these last stages, since I started showing you the brown coffee, these, are, these samples are pulled at, at 30 second increments or less. So in the first part of the roast, from green to yellow, things happen really slow. And then it's quite a fast process, and you really have to be there watching the coffee. This is an excellent roast right here. A great roast level to not get that charred taste, but have a really uh, sweet and refined cup. That's a City Plus roast. Now here's a full City roast. And we're right on the verge of getting into the second crack here, which tells you the coffee's getting into dark roast territory. Notice it's more puffed up, and the chaff layer in here has changed color. It's a dark color now. Now here's, if you like Starbucks, this is what you like. This coffee has gone fully through the second crack. And in fact, it's so explosive, this crack, it's, it's releasing carbon dioxide that's, that's formed during roasting within the bean. That's actually blown off a piece of the bean right here. And then finally, we're at a very dark roast. Now, this is very fresh coffee. I roasted this actually less than an hour ago. But you can already see some oil starting to develop on the surface there. If um, all of those last three roasts I've shown you, if you left them for three days, they'd have oils on them. And in fact, you know, uh, if you leave them for months, they'll be glazed in oil. And that's what old coffee looks like when it's dark roasted. So that is briefly the changes in color during coffee roasting.